this episode of Jared's Cocktail Corner. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is uh, the 1922, which is uh, one of our signature cocktails. Uh, a couple of things that we're going to need for to make this cocktail is, uh, the first thing is going to be bourbon. Uh, the bourbon that we use is uh, Victor's bourbon. Uh, you can pretty much use any bourbon you prefer to use. If you can't find Victor's, we like bourbon, uh, Victor's bourbon just because of the fact that uh, it's a little bit sweeter. Uh, we also are using uh, Salerno uh, Blood Orange Liqueur. Uh, I would probably prefer that you would use this because you're not going to find another Blood Orange Liqueur. Uh, so that's the other ingredient that we're going to be using. Uh, we're also going to be using uh, Luxardo cherries and juice. This giant can you're probably not going to want for home use. Uh, you, do, you can find it in the liquor store for in a smaller jar. We just use it a lot more, so that's why we have that. Uh, we also are going to be using uh, cherry vanilla bark bitters and black walnut bitters. Uh, you can find both of these things on Amazon. That's pretty much where we get them from. Uh, also, you're going to need some orange wedges. So that's going to be into the cocktail. Uh, your garnish today is going to be a Luxardo cherry and a little twist of orange peel. Um, we're also going to need a uh, sphere. Uh, we make the spheres out of this mold right here. Uh, this sphere is actually, or uh, this mold, I'm sorry, is from uh, Amazon also. So you can also get those on Amazon also. All right, so we're going to get into the cocktail. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to always, you always want to use uh, the inexpensive things first in case you mess up. So first thing we're going to do is three dashes of your vanilla bark bitters. Next thing is going to be your black walnut bitters. And then we're going to do squeeze two of the orange wedges into our mixing container. You can put those in there also. The next thing we're going to do is use that Luxardo cherry juice. So we're going to do a spoonful of that. All right, put that in there. The next thing we're going to do is add our alcohol. All right, so the first thing we're going to be using is our Michter's bourbon. So we're going to do two and a half ounces of Michter's bourbon or whatever bourbon you might have on hand. Next thing you're going to be using is our blood orange liqueur, Salerno blood orange liqueur. You're going to do a half an ounce of that. Alrighty. And the next thing we're going to do is add ice. All right, we're stirring this cocktail today just because you don't want to over dilute the cocktail. You just want to do it enough just to get a little bit of a chill on it. done you're gonna take your sphere put it into your glass we have these really large glasses uh, if you have any other it's gonna be a pretty uh, voluminous cocktail so you want to just make sure that you have a cocktail that's gonna fit it or a cocktail glass is gonna fit it put that in there you're also gonna want to double strain this just because you don't want to have all of those pieces of uh, orange in there all right Grab your garnish, garnish it up, and there you have the 1922. Cheers. Just wanted to thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next episode of Jared's Cocktail Corner.